hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. This video is eating the stockpile down crab linguine 30 minute meal. Okay, uh, this is so I went to grocery outlet and so I was looking around for deals and I found this uh, crab meat really cheap and it was a whole pound. So I cut off a quarter pound to make this. And then I had some um, olive oil that I bought reasonable and it calls for one and a half cups of water. And so what I had in my stockpile was this. And I bought this a while back, see it's 70 cents. And what's nice about this is the seasoning packet comes in one of these. So your spices aren't going to be, um, aren't going to be um, stale. Let me see if I can show you the, the, uh, the linguine because I want to add a few things to it. All right, there it goes. This smells really good. So take a look at this. So what I want to add to this is I have this garlic and onion. That will taste good. So, uh, and then what I uh, put in here was my dehydrated tomatoes. I didn't know I was going to make this when I dehydrated the tomatoes. It was three dehydrated tomatoes, and I saved this to show you. Here it is. I made them last night. I post, I uh, stockpile quite a few of those like herb and butter um, pastas because at some point I bought, bought one and they were really good and I thought these could come in handy, not knowing how handy. I'll put a little, um, a little red pepper flakes, a little black pepper and a little uh if you can get good salt it makes all the difference in your food so uh once we start you know dehydrating our food and buying the food marked down and just eating the food that we buy marked down so here it is this is one of my better ones so what I was basically doing is just using the food that I had in the stockpile. And what is going to help you more than anything is when you get a nice big stockpile. And I'm just going to put the whole thing in the bowl. And if there's it's enough for two meals. You know what was really good was my tamale pie the next day. This looks pretty good too. Um, oh, right. I don't have a, a dish towel. I was gonna, sw I was gonna sell my mohair sweater, and I thought, are you crazy? This mohair sweater was made in China. You can't get another one. Don't sell it. And this is one of the jewelries I bought uh, when I bought uh, jewelry uh, in bulk. So here it is. All right, let's have a taste. Okay, so eating the stockpile down. So uh, if you can go in and say if you could do this for 30 days in a row, this is cheap too. Uh, what I must have done when I bought that, uh, let me give you another shot of this, is it, it doesn't um, expire until May. So I must have looked for the longest expiration date when I bought this because I bought it quite a while ago. I love anything that's like uh, spaghetti anyway.
that is good. And I have some black tea. Okay, I found something else good at Grocery Outlet. Um, I bought the, the crab meat a few days ago. I will freeze the rest. So if you have a quarter pound meat, you can get by, but look at this. This is, it's a half pound of topping. So if you eat the whole thing, you'd have a quarter pound um, of meat or cheese. And this was $2.99. And this is 19.3 ounces for $2.99, as opposed to the um, Aldi's Mama Cozy's. And this has more meat on it. And then uh, also I compared and contrast the Walmart pizzas that were about $3.50. And they're really not the tastiest. But you can't always get this. But if you keep your eye out, pizza does go on sale. Okay, so um, I want to mention something. Okay, I had meals, cheap meals, macaroni and cheese, spaghetti, chili, beans and rice, hot dogs, hamburgers, and pizza. So um, for the stockpile, I found this um, macaroni and cheese at um, all of these for 50 cents. I buy this stuff really cheap uh, at uh, Walmart, and all you need is like, if you grind one uh, stewed tomato, that turns out really good. Uh, here is some beef stew, if you stockpile that. I bought that at Dollar Tree. Here is a chili I bought at some point. And uh, then, you know, the pizza. So uh, just bear in mind that when you're stockpiling storable food, if the power goes out, I'm still going to have my meals. Okay, so here's the cheap meal plan. It can be some variation of this. All right, now back to over here. Okay, so now today I went to Walmart and when I was there, I couldn't believe this. I found a um, great plant. Here it is, it came in here and it was $6.97. I bought my son a grapevine for $40 and it died too. Uh, this was like, just like a piece of, like a branch with three or four leaves and it's got a few roots and I just plant in the backyard. So we'll see if it's gonna grow. So then I planted that on one side and then the lime, or the mint on the other side. And I thought, how about a free garden or a forever garden? So you plant your, you plant your um, grape vine and you have grapes. Grapes are expensive out here. You have grapes for grape juice, raisins and jam. I don't know how long it takes a grapevine to mature. I guess I'll find out. And another thing about grapevines is you only have to water them once a week. That's what they say. Okay, so um, I got the mint plant. So I'm always going to have mint. And I was thinking when I go to the swap meet, if I generate enough uh, mint leaves, I will just air dry them and then sell them. So... And I'm looking for ways to earn money. Remember my cookie, my cookie making, my poster making. Okay, so, uh, and my homemade raisins were really, really good, you guys. Okay, so I bought five extra dollars worth of gas each week. So it doesn't sound like much, but after three or four weeks, now when I buy gas, I'm at three quarters of a tank instead of barely at a half tank. And so eventually, if I keep this up, then every week I'll be drawing on a full tank. $5 extra meat. It doesn't have to be a whole $5. It could be just a pound of, of uh, crab meat or, you know, whatever, cheese, whatever you can find, an extra toilet paper. And then I'm adding one plant. Uh, Walmart also had boysenberries. I would have bought two grapes, but they only had one. So, and it says non-GMO. So one kind of plant, maybe, I don't know what. And I'll be planting my seeds that, you know, I harvested out of my food. Refilling one water for 35 uh, 
cents and stockpiling one meal. So stockpiling one meal does not have to be a big meal. That's four meals. Um, on the beef stew, if you uh, serve that with mashed potatoes or rice, that's also good. Okay, so I mentioned to you guys, I made the rice milk. Let me show you. Here is my rice milk. I made it like two days ago. And it's really not bad. And every once in a while, I just drink a little. And um, this, I generated uh, this size of a jar out of a quarter cup of, of uh, rice. And the next one I'm going to make is going to be oatmeal, oatmeal milk. So the way I did it, but you can do it any way you want. Um, it, you can make it in a crock pot and boil it down. But uh, what I did is I just put a quarter cup rice in boiling water and I boiled it on a high boil. And when I started getting some milky water, I poured it out and re-added water until my uh, rice was so almost pulverized that I poured the whole thing in my blender and I just pulled, pressed pulse until, you know, it was like milk. So I'm gonna be making rice milk, oat milk, and nut milk. Okay, now there's been predictions and I think these are accurate. And this is why I'm doing this stuff. I am not piling my freezer full of expensive food though. I'd rather spend my dollar on indestructible food. Food prices to spike in the fall. So that's just, uh, well, you know, we're all already at April. Uh, I would say it would have something to do with the price of gas because everything is dependent on gas to get the food to us, you know, everything. So uh, it might have to do with gas. So um, that's why buying the five extra, you know, dollars of gas and saving your money as much as you possibly can not misery making because I don't believe that a misery maker has ever been able to out save me. Like I will give you an example. I do not have to buy food for a long, long, long time. Now I have the luxury of waiting around for a $2.99 pizza, a 50 cent box of macaroni and cheese, you know, and I am going to be doing every cheap thing. I possibly can and you're gonna be saying my god you really are cheap and I thought I really am and I've been this way all of my life one of my friends said Ruthie why the hell are you so cheap and she had known me for years like oh I don't know maybe it's hereditary I think it's like I don't want to be without food I don't want to be without money a couple times I, I was ended up with no uh, place to live. Like that was some kind of joke. You can just get out and find another place to live. And so, um, you know, I prevailed, of course. But what about people who don't have the luxury? And, you know, I've been trying to help a lot of people for years. And the main thing I tell them to do is go to the food bank, go to the food pantries, go to the churches now and none of them do it so okay you guys please like comment and subscribe and god bless you all